In this video, we will take a look at how we can add and subtract radicals. However, in these problems, you'll notice there are no like radicals. Just as with fractions, where we always like to reduce, we find the same thing with radicals. If there's anything we can reduce or simplify or pull out of the radical, we'll do that first. Let's see if that'll create any like radicals that we could then add or subtract. To simplify the 45, we might factor it to 9 times 5 and factor the 9 to 3 times 3. Because we're taking a square root with an index of 2, we're looking for groups of 2 to come out. We have two 3's, which can come out, giving us 3, and left inside the radical is a 5. Don't forget the 5 that's also in front of everything. In the next radical, we're simplifying the square root of 18. 18 might factor to 6 times 3, and 6 will factor to 2 times 3. We now have plus 6, and then because we're dealing with the square root, we pull out pairs, and there's a pair of 3's. Left behind, inside the square root is a 2. Minus 2, and then we need to simplify the square root of 98. 98 is 2 times 49, and 49 is 7 times 7. Again, with a square root, we identify the pair of 7's, and so we can pull a 7 out, leaving the 2 inside the radical. Plus, simplifying the 20, the 20 factors to 2 times 10, and the 10, 2 times 5, and so we see the pair of 2's, which comes out, and the 5 left behind. Let's get this other problem out of the way. When we multiply, we now have 15 root 5 plus 18 root 2 minus 14 root 2 plus 2 root 5, and we can identify our like radicals to add together. 15 plus 2 gives us 17 of these root 5's, and for the root 2's, 18 minus 14 gives us positive 4 of these root 2's, and we have our final solution. By simplifying the radicals first, we were able to identify like radicals, which could be combined. Let's try another example. Again, with 4 cube root of 54 minus 9 cube root of 16 plus 5 cube root of 9, we want to simplify the 54 by factoring. 2 times 27, 27 is 9 times 3, and the 9 is 3 times 3. Let's scroll to get us a little more space. And because we have a cube root, we're looking for groups of 3, and we do have a triplet on the 3's. Using the number in front, we have 4 times 3, cube root of the 2, which remained in the radical. Minus 9 times, factoring the 16 to 4 times 4, and the 4's to 2 times 2. Again, with the cube root, we're looking for a triplet, 1, 2, 3. A 2 comes out, and left inside the cube root is the other 2. plus 5. When we try and factor the 9, the only way we can factor it is 3 times 3. Remember, we're looking for a triplet, and there's no triplets, so there's nothing we can do. 3 times 3 remains 9 inside the radical. Multiplying together, we have 12 times the cube root of 2, minus 18 times the cube root of 2, plus 5 times the cube root of 9. Combining our like radicals, cube roots of 2 are like radicals. 12 minus 18 is negative 6, cube root of 2, and we still have the plus 5, cube root of 9. Adding and subtracting radicals, we will simplify the radical part first, and then after that, we will combine like radicals.